Hi everyone. The purpose of this video is to show you how to create groups within a course in Canvas. The first thing you want to do after you've gone to the, the course that's, that you want to apply your groups to is on the left hand side, choose people. You'll see a list of the students that you have in your class. What you'll want to do first is create group sets. You'll click on that option in the upper right hand corner and I'm going to pretend for now that I'm going to be creating groups for each day of the week. This first one will be Monday groups. There's a couple different options that are here, which are kind of nice that Canvas offers. You can allow the students themselves to put themselves into their own groups. You can split the groups up into so many different groups. You can limit on how many students are in each group. But right now we're going to worry about creating these groups later. I'm going to click save. You can go through this process right now and choose your five different groups, your Tuesday groups, your Wednesday groups, and so on. Alrighty? Then you're ready to create or uh, put the kids in these groups for your days. Alrighty? The first thing you want to do is create within your Monday groups the different groups that you might have on that different day. Maybe you're going to have sharks and it's going to only be able to have up to three members in it and we're going to save. And then maybe, I'm going to click on plus groups again, we have the guppies. And we're also going to only have, oops, three. And save. And so on. So you keep all your different groups. Then what you'll do is open each one, like the guppies, and we're going to put in Pam goes to the guppies. And so does Jenna. Okay. And let's put Jamie, we're going to put her in the sharks. We're going to put Rebel in the sharks. And we're going to put Dr. Zalonis, we're going to put her in with the guppies as well. And it'll indicate right away that that is full. You can no longer put any more students in that group. Alrighty, and if you click on each one, you'll be able to see the different students that are in within each group. You could do this for each one of the groups that you create. It's up to you how you want to design it. But that's how you put your students in groups. This comes in handy for if you have an assignment or an assessment that you've created, you can make it so only specific groups will be able to see that test or that particular exam, uh, exam. Okay, it comes in handy, especially for those students that have an IEP that have a differentiated exam. Alrighty, I do hope this helps when you are working on creating groups within your Canvas course.